the youngest full-time female broker on the floor here. Um, welcome to you. Thank you. Uh, what, what's the culture like for you down here? The culture of the men, it's a huge community where they are supporting me, they're lifting me up, and they really want me to do well within the industry. Do you ever feel like you're at a disadvantage because you're a woman? No, not at all. I think I'm at more of an advantage because I'm the only one, and I am a vocal point down here, so they, they listen. How did you find your way into the business? Because it's not exactly, you know, an obvious pipeline that this is where I want to go, even if you wanted to be in financial services. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, I networked a lot. I used LinkedIn. I did a lot of informational interviews and was brought down to the floor to meet with Gordon Charlotte, who I'm sure you've all seen. Love Gordo. Uh, and he introduced me to Richard. He explained more to me about this side of the business and what they do down here and if I'd be interested. He liked me a lot because of my statistics background, and we, you know, I Why joined the floor. Think, you know, it's interesting. There's been a number of women over the years who have started, even as young as you, and come up through the floor, have owned different brokerages down here. I mean, they've done incredible things, and yet their numbers are still quite small. Mm -hmm. You've been over here for over a year now. Why do you think that is? How long could you see yourself sticking around? I could see myself being here uh, for at least two years. I've been here for about a year and a half now, um, and, you know, again, still learning and, and going from there. I think people are um, uncomfortable with being uh, comfortable or comfortable with being <laughs> uncomfortable. Um, and I think, you know, if, if people just saw themselves in a different situation, that there would be more women, more presence. I think it's still, you know, the bravest woman coming down here and, and being down here. And you have Stacy, who is now the president of yeah. the exchange, and she started down here. Stacy Cunningham. So hopefully that'll there will be more success stories like that. And when people say to you, and this goes back to kind of what Mike was saying as well, but you know, the floor of the exchange used to be, you know, a, a thousands, of people. thousands of people, and it's changed so much. Not that, but that was that relevant to you at all? I mean, when you think about the security and the future of the actual physical floor is it just like hey this is a great opportunity are you you know to learn and or do you think about do people ask you about well what do people actually do on the floor of the new york stock exchange um i get a little bit of both but i do believe that this is a great place to start i mean regardless of what you do and this is the trading floor it's a serious learning curve and if you can get through this and the mentality of the men down here you'll do just fine within the industry. So that suggests that it's a little <laughs> bit of a, of a challenge or at least um, you have to distinguish yourself in this environment where it's not like, we, you know, Julie was talking about these very big companies that have, you know, a diversity program and they have all this kind of structured support. Yeah. So I guess you'd have to kind of opt for, for something different than that. Yeah, I mean, there, there definitely is support, but, you know, th this is the trading floor and you have men who are uh, amazing and they're very alpha male. Um, but again, it's it's a big community down here. They want to see everyone succeed. Oh yeah, it's I I, have to say, I love this community. I'm glad they let us kind of come be part of it. Yeah. Um, you know, glad to hear that you've enjoyed it as well. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.